All right, this is the recap for my Age of Wonders 3 video series uh, for turn 12, and I'll talk about some Empire stuff. Uh, so in terms of exploration, you can see that I'm sending Lost Soul down here to look for other cities. This guy's been going a uh, fairly long ways uh, underground. My guy got sniped by folks from here, so I didn't get exploring too far. Uh, in terms of production, in my capital, Harvester's Guild for the population growth, uh, Shrine for the man early mana, and Balmer's Guild so that I can leave cadavers I raise in here and protect my capital. They can just hang out, and they don't have to have like a, any sort of healer unit, like a reanimator, keep them up. And in terms of here, uh, I started with the Shrine, Harvester's Guild, and... Because the production uh, was going to be decent for this, already nearing 100, I decided to double down. I'll probably make this a uh, forging city. So I'm doing Siege Workshop, and we'll probably do Master's Guild. The War Hall was free. I didn't build that uh, laboratory. And I want to do an observatory eventually to help get this next uh, ring at some point. But uh, a little strapped for cash, so having to be judicious with that. Uh, so again, just leveling up my heroes because I want to start ghouling units and that's when the army can really take off. It's all about getting folks near that. So, uh, you know, I've had a few heroes offer to join. Neither were uh, attractive, so I'm still waiting for a good one, just declining each time. Uh, most recent battle, well, we talked about that, I believe. Um... And, yeah, I believe that's it. Uh, state of the units is pretty much the same, so I'll see you. We're talking about turns 13 and beyond.